Okay, so it's here. I want to give you guys a quick look at uh, my new Solaris launch pad. I really don't know that much about these things. Never using a uh, never used the ARM processor before. And I was late. I was actually late ordering these things. And um, so I sent out a quick email. That's cool. It's on a make the switch on Notepad. Um, I was late ordering these, so I sent an email to uh, a TI contact. And he was nice enough to go ahead and uh, FedEx one to me like that day. So that was pretty cool because the uh, ship time on the ones I ordered was like sometime in December. So very nice people. Of course, the reason they sent it was because they know I'm going to give them some exposure, which is fair. You know. And you can see this box. Pair a uh, MSP430 launch pad and the uh, Solaris launch pad. Make sure I'm oriented the same. And these boxes are very similar. Let's see. There, that's now it's oriented. The difference is, that's, that's kind of strange. Okay, that's how they open. One of the differences is, okay, they have the same little logo thing. Uh, they flip flop where they put the printing at. That's kind of weird. Like, so this one, this Stellaris actually looks like it's flying. And if you orient it where you're reading this, it looks like it's flying to the ground. Right there. In any event, welcome to the Stellaris launch pad. Okay, quick start comes pre-programmed with RGB quick start. The application demonstrates RGB LED. Pressing, scan the ROYGBIV color spectrum of the RGB LED by pressing the bottom left button or the bottom right button. Leave the Stellaris launchpad idle to see a random color display. Okay, cool. That's a little fancier than a standard LED flash program. And then we have the uh, USB cable. Still included, and looks like that's about it. Happy coding, Solaris MCU team. Okay, I'm not going to do much more with this than just like I'll go ahead and uh, power this sucker up, and I'll add this to my collection of USB cables. Look at this. Okay, you'll see it's got a. It's kind of cool. I, I saw this before. It's got the. Uh, it's got a double row of headers here and here. And it's got, so you got uh, male and you got female headers on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I like that. That's one of the complaints I had with the uh, Launchpad MSP430 is I had the, uh, it came with the male headers. And uh, really I prefer the, uh, the female headers most times. Get almost even uh huh. yes perfect fit see fits perfectly onto the uh know what good that would do you yeah? you could tell I think the the two boards I mean they're the they're precisely the same size yep and look, they even have the uh, the buttons are in the same positions, and 
man I mean everything is the same the only difference physically the only difference is the uh, Stellaris has a uh, double row of headers for the extra IOs then of course it also has there's another USB device here and then I don't see instead of having this uh, row of uh, headers here for with the jumpers it's got some test points here that are probably going to end up soldering soldering some uh, jumpers into got a switch here device and debug I have no idea what any of this is for so far okay it'll be interesting uh, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this so so far I mean from my perspective because one thing I like about the MS launchpad MSP430 is that you can program your chip and then take the chip out and use it in a project but in this case you're gonna have a uh, you can order these and I guess you could I don't know I guess you could use this as a programmer and uh, you know, that's why I was thinking use these test points to tie in uh, you know a uh, you buy a buy a chip and then use these test points to tie into that chip and program it but uh, <laughs> I think I'm a long way off for that so anyway this is the new uh, Stellaris launch pad Now let me go ahead and hook it up and we can see what their demo their demo is going to do. color on that light oh wow this is a uh, I guess I'll have to use their included cable that is a micro that is a micro USB cable there I thought I was going to add their included cable to my pile of uh, USB cables and I have to use it hmm I think this is the same one my uh, my phone uses. Huh, yeah, this is the same. This is the same one I use for my phone. Huh. Well, this is a short cable. I'll go get a different cable. I'll be right. Okay, I found the cable I use for my phone. And it, uh, yep, it's the exact same cable. Or maybe not. Hmm. Nothing. Go back to the cable they supply. See what it does. Take a look at these ends. I think they're the same. Yeah, these should be. Okay, this is the one I use for my phone, and this is the one that came with the uh, came with the launch pad. I think it's the same. I mean, I even see I can even see the pins in there. They all it's the same cable. I don't know why mine didn't work. So plugging into the wrong one. I was plugging into this uh, debug. Device. I'm probably supposed to plug into that one. That's what it is. It's assumed I plugged into the one on the end, like the uh, other launch pad. I mean, that's kind of a tight fit. There we go.
Yeah, there we go. So, okay. We've got idling. I'll turn this see if I'm turning this light away. Yeah. Alright, I've got it idling and it's kind of going. It's probably not showing up that well on the camera, unfortunately. It's going through a nice little spectrum. That's very uh that's pretty cool. It's going through the whole spectrum of uh colors. Unfortunately, you can't really see it, but this uh RGB LED is just it's cycling. You can kind of see it, but it's cycling through all the color spectrum. It's pretty cool. And or you could press this button here. Press either one of these buttons and cycle the uh, RGB LED through the spectrum like that too. Press and switch one and switch two. So that's a uh, that's a quick look at the uh, Solaris launch pad. Um, I would I'll go ahead and read a quick rundown of the specs. On the box. Okay, it's got a 80 megahertz 32 bit ARM Cortex M4 base MCU with floating point, uh, 256 KB of flash, 32 kilobytes SRAM, 2 kilobytes EEPROM on chip memory, dual 12 bit analog digital converters, 6x64 bit and 6x32 bit timers, mini serial comps. Hmm, okay, download extensive Stellarisware code base. I've seen like the graphics library and stuff. I'm gonna have to buy uh gonna have to buy some kind of display for this thing though. Okay, select and download upgradable development tool chains, code composer studio, the I'm scared of that. Okay. But if you compare the specs from the Solaris to the MSP430, of course they're, they're totally different families. It's not really fair to compare them. See, like, did they say how many I.O.? That's strange. How do they, uh... That is strange. How do they not even... How do they not even say the number of I.O. that are on the uh, chip? Huh. It's got to be like, uh, it's got to be like 30 something pins on there. Okay, but anyway, that's the, uh, that is the Stellaris launch pad. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.